What's up guys? I know it's been a little bit, but uh, just been super busy. I am out of here. We are headed to the second annual Fins and Feathers uh, Nevada hunt. Last year, we just hunted um, antelope with the two, two clients. This year, we're hunting antelope and mule deer. Uh, mule deer with, with uh, bows and uh, antelope with rifles. So, should be a good time. One of our clients is a re reoccurring client from this trip last year, Justin. Super cool guy. Um, he killed a hell of a goat last year. Um, and then an, also Justin coming in from Utah. So we're gonna have Justin and Justin, hopefully uh, get some great animals on the ground. We got uh, the Traeger all loaded up. Ice chest, my truck is completely full of stuff. And uh, I got about a five hour, five and a half hour drive. So let's get on the road and let's get over there. Drop my truck off, grab some stuff, buy another spotter, and we jumped in and we're gonna go do a little bit of scouting. Oh yeah, we're ready to do <laughs> right. this. So we're gonna uh, go look at some of the blinds. Uh, my buddy and one of our pro staff members, uh, Brad Miller, was out here just a couple weeks ago and killed a stud buck. You guys will get to see that on uh, his show, Country Boys Outdoors. Um, but we're gonna go see what we can find and get after it. Who's hunting right now? You? I think we, uh, we're going to be Either one? Try. Yeah. All right. Some bucks coming in. So <laughs> Let's see if we can. Out. See what we can do. We got all the sage flat out here. A lot of these bucks will bed up. And then what they do is in the evenings, they'll start making their way out into these uh, alfalfa checks. And uh, we're seeing it's still a little early. Yeah. We got a few bucks out here. Bedded down. We'll get an ambush position out there, see what we can get. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sit back and just watch it all go down. He got a shot. Doesn't look like he hit though. He's coming right at us. Well, that's a wrap for tonight, guys. Uh, first night here. I got to do a little scouting earlier and then got the spot for these guys. So, probably grill up some, some milk burgers or venison burgers or something. But, um, call it. I'm going to get up early and get out and do a little more scouting, uh, move some blinds, um, and just check things out. Clients get in tomorrow. Um, we're going to be watching the, the Mayweather Connor fight and we're going to see what happens there. I'm curious to, to know myself. But, um, excited about that one um, and then the next morning so we're gonna start hunting hunting Sunday morning and uh, got antelope first and then in the evenings we're gonna do uh, mule deer so let's see what happens
All right, so Justin killed a stud antelope last year. He's gonna be hunting uh, for antelope and mule deer. Right now, we uh, he's taking the old stick and string. He's got his Hoyt. And uh, we're gonna go sit in a blind and see if we can stick a big old mule deer buck. Um, the deer last night, we went out there about 5, 35, 45, and they were already out in the field. So we're gonna go try to get out there a little bit earlier and beat them this time. We are out of here. Let's go. This stuff is legit. It actually smells like dirt. So it's a great cover scent. You can deal with the smell of the dirt. <laughs> Seriously smell like a dirt clod. But it works. The things we do to kill big bucks. <laughs> That was our first encounter with old Goofy. Unfortunately, he just never came within bow range. We sat there till dark, had a few other bucks come in, but none of them came within range either. We packed it up, headed back to camp. All right, day two. We are headed out this morning uh, to go try and find Justin a speed goat. Still waiting on the other Justin to get here. He should be close, but uh, we're gonna go out and go scout and see if we can find a big one, and if so, we're gonna put a stock on. Let's go see. Look at the path that they crawled through this alfalfa. Nice job, Justin. Another belly crawl, another long belly crawl in the alfalfa. That's a lot worse. Oh yeah, we're oh, trained. It's 100 degrees out right now. Oh. We are, but look, like I just look like I finished a workout. I think I can wring my shirt out, but made a perfect shot and stoned it. Did you see it just fall? Did you get that all on film? I tried. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't get him out there. I got you guys. Yet another long stock. Sorry, Brandon. Sorry, Cade. <laughs> I mean, always tearing up your guys' alfalfa. Let's go see this big old beast. We're gonna, I mean, he was probably 300 yards out, so we got a little bit of a walk. I just remembered we had the king bumping. That's what it was. You need some luck. Let's throw the king on. 60% of the time, it works every time. Look at the curls on that thing. I can see him from here. Holy crap. He's tall. What do you think, Justin? Dude. <laughs> Year two come, in the books? Come to Nevada. You Dude. can't beat it. Oh. Dude, he's a good buck. Oh. 